Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the new spreadsheet exam for the AAT uh, as a part of the Synoptic. Uh, so far, we already know uh, the AAT has changed the Synoptic module and uh, the Excel or the spreadsheet is not part of the Synoptic anymore. That means during the Synoptic, uh, you will do only the Synoptic exam and the Excel or the spreadsheet will be completely a separate exam. Now, for that reason, they have changed a little bit uh, the guideline and the criteria for the Excel. And today we're going to talk about that. So on this assessment, we will have five tasks to complete. So in the exam, we will see five tasks. And there are a few important inform information that we have to know before we sit for the exam. The first thing we need to know, the exam will be for two hours. So you have to complete all the five tasks within two hours. And after we have to submit the work. The difference between the other exam and this Excel exam is, we have to download the question from the exam. And after that, we have to upload the file back again. And this time, the way we have to do it is a little bit different. So this time we're not going to submit the assessment. You can see here on the instruction, they said, do not submit your assessment. It's a very, very important. So all we have to do as a student, we have to complete the work on the Excel file. And after what we're going to do, we have to upload the file back on the system during the exam nothing else do not submit the exam because there are a few more evidence that the center have to add on behalf of you and after they will or maybe you you will submit the exam that is uh, basically to file that is the declaration and this declaration has to be one from your side and one from the center side and i'll show you what it is so Let's make it very simple. When you will be sit for the exam, you will download the file from this exam. After that, you complete your work. And once you're done, then you have to upload back the evidence. And after that, you just click close. Close and then close assessment and finish later. Close assessment and finish later, not submit now. Do not submit your assessment. The next thing is the declaration, the declaration of authenticity from your side and the counter sign will be from the center. I'll show you what it is and how is it, uh, how is it done and how to upload this one. So once you have understand this thing, uh, then the next job will be, to see what we have more information on the exam. Now, if we click the start assessment, it will take to the next page where actually all the question are. Now, the question will be uh, more like the way we have done before, uh, the old synoptic. So you can see we're expecting five tasks in the exam, task one, task two, task three, task four, and task five. And all these tasks will cover the basic Excel formulas and also the advanced level formulas. When I say the basic, on the basic, it cover, for example, sum, how to do the sum, for example, how to do the sorting, sorting, how to do the freeze, freeze the panel, how to do the formulating and all of this has to be come under the basic thing. And uh, that bounce level uh, formulas we're expecting in the exam, that will be the chart and uh, data validation, then pivot table and VLOOKUP. So this thing normally will be in the exam. If you are 
uh, used to it these formulas, you'll be uh, fine in the exam. Top of that, a few uh, checking formulas that always come in the exam. For example, if, then count if, this sort of formula is still uh, important for your exam. Then let's have a look. What is the additional information that we need to know for the exam? So here you can see, you have to click here to find the assessment book. As soon as you click here, you will see one Excel file will be downloaded on the computer. And this Excel file is the main file. This is the file you have to work on. And this file has to be saved in a format. So this format will be, you can see here, not your name before, you have to write your name. Now you have to write S, B, S, H, and your AD number. If you have a look on of the example, the example is S, B, S, H, one, two, three, four, five. So your AD number that is start with normally two, zero. So your eight digit number has to be entered after this S, B, S, H. Then once you save this file somewhere in your computer, could be in a documents, could be in a download, could be in a desktop, but you have to know where did you keep this file. And after you will start working on that file. Now, once you start working, obviously like within two hours, you have to finish all these five tasks. And once you completed five tasks, you have to upload this file back. Now, when you upload this file back, then you will see some button here. The first button is upload the file. So the work you have done, that file you have saved with your AT number, you have to upload this file here, number one. Number two is for any reason, if the file is not uploading for any reason, if it's showing the error or something, you need to make sure you upload that screenshot or that file in upload troubleshooting. So you have to make this one PDF, any error come you have to upload there. And also there is another thing is called declaration of the authenticity. This one is another form. If you click here, this file will be opened and this sort of file, one of the file, it will be open. And you can see here from this file. So it is says AT advanced diploma in accounting declaration of the authenticity of spreadsheet for accounting. Now there is two section one for the student and one for the center. Now this will be your section. You have to write your AT number and the assessment center. Then after that, you sign yourself here. And after here, the next page we have here that is for the center the person who was uh, invisibilitating the exam or who was like supervising the exam, he or she need to confirm that you done the work by yourself. You didn't take any help and uh, um, he's or she is happy with your work. So she said, I confirm that. And she said, I confirm that. And after that, she have to sign and she need to write what is the role in the center, for example, the administrator, for example, the supervisor, any, anyone who was like there. Then after that, this file need to be uploaded back on the uh, system. And once you uploaded back this on the system, then uh, you will be able to submit that. Now, there is no rush to submit this assessment because once you said, uh, fair, close and finish later. It's still, we have a three days to submit the evidence. So it's not like you have to do it immediately. And if the center decided to do it later, they can do that. There is no problem for that. I have to make sure we have to take the box, assessment workbook uploaded by student, then declaration uploaded by the assessment center. This too has to be uh, checked. And after that, you can submit, but for the time being, what you do is say close. Once you click the close, the time will be stopped. So your work will be done. It will show you like the file you have uploaded here, but we cannot see anything here because we haven't uploaded any file. So uh, the file will be shown here. 
and the declaration form will be shown here like two file three file you have uploaded and they give us the warning because they are saying there is no file but we just want to see what's happening if we say continue and this page will come up and it will tell us close the assessment and finish later we have to choose this one close assessment and finish later not finish assessment and submit the answer don't do that so close assessment and finish later they ask you once more time are you confirm you want to submit later on we said yes and they will say you may close the browser now so we can always come back this space if i like to come back but if the person the supervisor is there if you like to do it immediately you can do that immediately you can submit the letter so the center will advise you more for that you really don't have to worry for that so all you have to do you have to submit uh, you have to complete your work you need to sign the declaration and you have to make sure you upload all of this in the software and that's it <clears throat> so on the next session i'm going to show you some practice uh, uh, from this question and how to practice excel what sort of question can come and how can you answer all of this so in the next session i'll try to show more uh, actual practice so i'll see you on the next session uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, we will do some more practice in the next session.